So pick it up in verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach. Underline the word preach. What does Jesus do? He talks out the gospel to people. He does not, he does not do something that we love to do, which is, man, I really hope my friends, my coworkers, my family members can figure out the gospel by me just hanging out with them. That's what we do, right? So I know people, they're like, yeah, dude, I go to all the parties. And what I do is I just go have a pint with my friends because that's what Jesus would do. I hang out with the sinners. I don't need to tell them stuff. I just need to hang out with them and they're going to figure it out by my life. If I cut their grass enough, if I make them enough cookies, they're going to figure out, they're going to look out the window, see me cut the grass and go, I think I'm a depraved sinner who, who, who needs the second person of the Trinity uh, to come down to earth and die and take on the wrath of God and forgive me for my sin and rise again from death. I think I need that. And the only way to get it is through repentance and faith. And I got all that because I got cut my grass. They're never going to deduce that. What you need is you need to preach. I don't mean get up and yell at people. And artic- I'm talking about you need to talk it out. You need to articulate with words what the message, what the beautiful, beautiful message of Jesus is because they're not going to figure it out. And we can hide behind, well, I just go and have pints at the party. Listen, you know what? He, oh, but Jesus did. Jesus hung out. They called him a wine bibber. They hung out with sinners. Listen, you know what happened every time Jesus went to a party? One of two things. Everybody at the party repented or they kicked him out because he talked too much about God. So which one of those happens when you're at the party? <laughs> I'm just wondering, which one of those two things actually happens when you're at the party? Because those are the two, because we're like, hey, let's be like Jesus. Well, that's what he did. Or he changes the wine and the tap into uh, the water and the tap into wine. You can't do that either. So don't cite Jesus. Listen, and we talk about this often here at Village Church. You're not Jesus in the story, right? Stop thinking you're Jesus always in the story. You're the one Jesus is ministering to. There's only one Jesus, and you're not it. 